Hi, Peter from Mechanics Mate. We're here today to show you how to rebuild your ATI super damper. Um, what we've got here is a hand pump, 10 ton cylinder, and our ATI harmonic balancer rebuild kit. All right, so now, with the, with the balancer, the easy part is to take out the inner ring. The intermediate ring in here is the hardest part. All right, so what we'll do is, we can show you how you would do this with the 10 ton cylinder without an arbor press. All right, put that in, slip that over there. Get your pin pusher, put it through there. Threaded rod, okay. Ten ton hollow cylinder, piston ends, you put your nut on there and you're ready to go to push this apart. All right, but, I like doing things the fast way. So let's just go straight over to the other press. Put that in. Okay, that's out. So now, to do the next part, take out the O-rings. Okay, this is where we become quite unique. Our little special tool will come in here, we'll grab onto the O-rings. Traditionally, how this would be done is you'll have a block around bar in here and you'll be beating this up against the bench. The problem you've got is that the rubber is a damper, that's why it's a super damper. And what, what happens is it takes away the shock from the impact. So when the O-rings are chewed out, it becomes very difficult to pull these apart. So how we overcome that is with our little tool here. Okay, we're going to use a 10 ton. We're going to need to do this in two bites. If we use the 5 ton cylinder here, we do it in a single shot. Alright, but this is the worst case scenario with a hand pump. We would normally use the aerial hydraulic as well, but this is still pretty quick. Alright, let's take it off the slack. So what you want to do is put a bit of load on that, that way the balls engage in the o-ring groove. Alright, that's out of stroke. As you can see, she's locked in, in position. There we go. Okay. Don't grab the hose or the fittings. Always grab by the cylinder. That's it. That's it. Retract the cylinder. Take all that out. Flip that off. And we're done. So now you replace the outer rings and the other, obviously the other O-rings. Now when you go put it back together again, you want to make sure that you've got the small end facing the front of the balancer. All right, and if you're not sure, just get your little tool in here. It'll only go in one way. All right, so we'll put that in. Again, we'll use this to put it all back together again. Okay, so now we want to put the inner piece in. So now what we did is we previously marked these. Okay. So that way we can line the holes up nice and easily. Um, and these holes have a um, different pattern on them. So they only go in one way. All right. That is now done, ready to put on your boss, back on the car and let's go racing. That's Peter from Mechanics Mate and this is our ATI Balancer Rebuild Kit. Thank sure. you.